the Shana Madre for me is, um, well, I think the, the very first scene of the movie is sort of sets the stage for um, what this journey is about. You know, I think um, there's a lot of emotion in that very first scene when the, when our, our, our lead Duncan is asked what he thinks he is on a scale from one to 10 uh, and being told that he's a three. And I think it's a pivotal moment mainly because it really does set off his journey for him. He doesn't know it at this moment, but um, uh, those harsh words, while harsh at that time, will sort of resonate in him enough to leave the beach house and go forth and discover the water park. So in a way, if this scene hadn't happened, if this moment with Steve Carell's character Trent hadn't happened, this journey would never have uh, begun. So I think that um, while it is the first scene of the movie, it is sort of an emotional moment uh, sort of uh, setting him off on that journey. My Shana Madre. I said the same thing. Well, no, not, with this, not as with good pronunciation. I don't like think so. Uh, for me, it, I agree with Jim, the first scene in the movie, but then I would also maybe add, for me, the scene at the top of the water slide um, towards the end of the movie when Duncan is having a sort of heart-to-heart -heart with uh, Sam Rockwell's character, Owen. And I think Owen just providing him with the sort of strength that he needs at that moment to be his own person and to um, go his own way, as we say in the movie. Uh, and I think those lessons are important for Duncan to hear at that point and I think it gives him the strength and the courage to sort of continue on what happens in the rest of the movie to sort of stand up to his stepfather and um, you know to to become his own person to be his own man and to not let the influences of others or other people's opinions get in his way of becoming who he ultimately will become. Well, one that, that, that I think in, in movies that seems very powerful to me, um, I would say is, whether well, a number, I mean, would be, hold on, I'll make sure I, I articulate the, the scene correctly, but, um, it would be in Kramer versus Kramer. Wow, that's what I was going to say. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And um, I can give you Ordinary People. That was my other choice. Or Mary Tyler Moore. Those are both of my scenes that came to my head. But uh, for me, in Kramer versus Kramer, <laughs> you should have gone first. Um, it is the, I would say when they're sitting down uh, to that lunch with his wife after she has uh, returned and uh, Meryl Streep's character, and that she'd like to see her son, you know, after sort of bailing on them. And uh, I feel like it's just a, a wonderful journey, and then to see, you know, not knowing that at the end it will be almost an opposite expression for her, you know, that, that um, she just couldn't be a part of it, you know. And I think that's a really heartbreaking story about divorce and and children and raising them. So I think that's a really good scene. I have uh, two that are, since we're sort of talking about coming of age films, The Way Way Back is a coming of age film. And so my mind, when we were doing research for this movie in terms of thinking about other coming of age films that we grew up on and ones that influenced us, um, uh, we you know, we saw 400 Blows, and that was a recommendation from our cinematographer, John Bailey, who said, you know, it's got one of the most fantastic endings in all of film, and it truly does. I think it's a lasting image, and even though it's the, the final sort of frames of the movie, it's not, you know, in the middle or this big scene in the middle that propels a character or anything. It is, I think, it gives you so much, and the the fact that this boy, you know, runs as far as he possibly can and then gets to the ocean and there's no place else left to go. He sort of reached the limit and that turn back is so moving and haunting and wonderful, I think. Just that, I think, is so powerful in my mind. And then also matching that with, you know, several decades later with The Graduate, that same sort of image of, you know, against the glass of the church 
and so I think of those two moments um, that I love, just the way I love the way films end, and I think we, you know, while maybe not on that level, I think I, I love the way our movie ends too, with sort of achieving that final image that sort of gives you an understanding of maybe what's to come or what you're feeling at that time. So maybe not the the middle of the, that main part in the movie, but at least the finale that, that speaks to me. We wrote this, uh, what was meant to be a TV show for HBO. Uh, we ended up writing what was going to be six episodes, so uh, really it turned into more than a movie, but um, we didn't get to make it. Uh, we hoped to, though. Uh, but it basically, you know, because we came, we were, we are, but started as actors and still are. And I think, I think our ultimate dream is to write something for ourselves. You know, we obviously are small parts in the way way back, but we've always wanted to uh, have a little bit more selfish that way, I guess. And um, we, whether we direct this idea or not, but it was sort of a, a, a great piece for us and sort of about, um, at least for America, it would be uh, something they know, which is driven by a, sort of a baseball story. Um, uh, yeah, essentially, but it's really about just two people that are sort of stuck together, living in a city where everyone hates them <laughs> for something that they've done. And uh, they are very different people, but I think it plays to our dynamic very well. And, uh, and it would just be a lot of fun, I think, to be able to shoot mm -hmm. those scenes where the two of us are sort of up against each other and yeah. you know, filled basically, with emotion. There's one scene where we offend, like, the if there's a Mr. Baseball, if there's, like, a, an icon in baseball, we basically offend him on TV. So during an interview process, it'd be fun to shoot this scene, basically, where we, um, we go off on him. <laughs> in, in, pretty much in front of millions of people. So it'd be fun to shoot that scene.